In the previous video, we have shown you how to install macOS Monterey on Hyper-V. And in this tutorial, let me show you how to install macOS Sonoma, the newest macOS, on Hyper-V also. But before we do that, in here, I will show you how the macOS Sonoma on the Hyper-V. And this is my macOS Sonoma. Because after we show you this, we don't need the installation until full completed. Because the installation process maybe take uh, more than one hour. And let me show you the step until the installation process for partition and then installation. But we don't wait the process. In here, I will show you the macOS Sonoma that I already installed. Okay, and the macOS Sonoma is look like this. Okay, and you can see here, this is my macOS Sonoma on virtual machines. This macOS is works for everything like browsing or another. You can see here, you can using the browser using the application also and in here you can see your macOS version by clicking tips for your Mac you can see there your Mac OS is macOS Sonoma you can see here see what's new in macOS you can see here and how to install this macOS Sonoma on the Hyper-V it's very easy and faster rather than if you are using the third party application like VMware or VirtualBox. Let's start done first. Okay. After that, the first thing you need to download the bootable files like on the macOS Monterey. Okay. You can download on this URL. Let me put this URL on the comment section so you can just go to there and download the macOS Sonoma bootable file here and just click this okay you can see here I already download the file we don't need to wait until it's done okay so we can pause this and this is the files that we already download after that we can just close the browser to save memory. Okay. After you download the file, you can just right click and extract the file using extract all or using another application like WinDRAR. After you extract all, you need to cut the folder. We will put or save the hard disk for macOS Sonoma into there. We can just cut this to easy manage. Just put on the C or another drive that you want to save the macOS later. You can see we put in the C and macOS Sonoma here. And in here, contain the VHDX. Okay, the size is approximately one gigabytes. After that, we can create virtual machine on the Hyper-V Manager. Just click new and select virtual machine. Click next or example Mac OS Sonoma. Then click next. Select generation 2. Click next and allocate the memory. The minimum requirement is 8 gigabyte. So double this value this is 4 gigabytes the 8 gigabytes you can just put it here and double the end 192 and click next for the connection this is most important select the default switch and you need have the internet connection here I already have the Wi-Fi click next and this is for easy manageable in the Monterey 
we let it by default but you can also to easy manage just put the same on the folder that you just download okay we put into C into Mako Esonuma and select the folder then click next install an operating system later just click next click finish now we have Mako Esonuma here then just click settings on the Mako Esonuma okay this is the most important click on the SDSI control here add the hard drive and browse your bootable files okay on the C Mako Esonuma that you just download okay put the weirdata.com.vsdx not make osonoma here because make osonoma is our hard drive and this is the bootable files just weirdata.com that you just download click open and click apply here go to the firmware and make the bootable file into the one or the first boot and the second is our drive okay and click apply and go to below into the security don't tick enable secure boot click apply again for the integration services tick the guest services click apply and checkpoint select this or uncheck the enable checkpoint and click apply then for the automatic start action click nothing click apply again and automatic stop action turn off the virtual machine and click apply again and click ok then we need to right click and choose connect and click start ok like I said before we don't need the installation until done ok we need just the process and you can follow by yourself here and this is the installation process and in here select this utility okay and then click continue then if you see in the internal storage you will find two hard drive one is bootable and the second is virtual disk media by our host and you need to erase this select this and select erase and give the name for your virtual disk media for example make xd then click erase wait until the process done after done you can just close the disk utility and select reinstall make os sonoma here and click continue and click continue again like I said before we don't need the installation until completed but we need just the installation until the running of the installation process with this because sometimes take a few seconds okay you can see the macOS is still loading here and click agree for the license and select agree and select mix xd okay after you creating the mix xd with the iris before you can select here and click continue and you can see the process takes about two hours and 31 minutes and it depends on your internet connection also so that's all tutorial how to install Mac OS Sonoma. You can continue the installation. And I already show you how the Mac OS Sonoma run on the Hyper-V.